I'd go days without eating, it's, that was probably the worst part, and I'd still be going to the bathroom 20, 30 times a day, 40 times a day, vomiting all day. That's how serious Mike Michelli's Crohn's disease had gotten. Every medication doctors had tried failed. That's when he volunteered for a stem cell transplant clinical trial. I was at the end of my rope. I had no choice. The idea that a stem cell transplant could help came when some patients with two diseases got a transplant. And some patients who had these cancers who also happened to have Crohn's disease, when we gave them these transplants, not only did their cancer get better, but their Crohn's sure as heck got a lot better. Dr. Lewis Cohen, a gastroenterologist at Mount Sinai, is leading the clinical trial. He explained that it starts with stimulating the patient's bone marrow to make more stem cells, which are then collected from his blood and stored. Then chemotherapy to knock down the immune system, followed by a reinfusion of the patient's own stem cells. It's a challenging process that has had some remarkable success in European trials. We're seeing complete healing of the bowel. Um, they're able to get back to their life, and that's really the, the biggest thing for us. As an added bonus, doctors found that the transplant then makes previously ineffective drugs work again. That's what Mike now gets on a monthly basis. He knows doctors can't call this a cure yet, but he says the improvement is all worth it. I've continued to just feel pretty good, you know. I, I have bad days, you know, I, I got to admit that, but I can go out and do things without worrying a lot. Now, it's not clear how long the remission and improvement will last. That will take long-term follow-up on these patients. And a transplant is not for the faint of heart. That's why, for now, it's just being offered to patients who've exhausted all other options and are on the verge of what doctors call bowel failure. But for those patients, this is exciting new hope. Yeah.